Yes, Foxy lad, ahead of BKFC 37 in camp. How are you feeling, bro? Yeah, feeling good, mate. Um, fit and ready. Could fight. Fight now, to be honest with you. Feels yeah, perfect. great stuff. We know that, um, obviously, bare knuckles, nothing new to you. Yeah. You know, you're a very experienced boxer, uh -huh. done very well in the pros. Yeah. And uh, how are you feeling? Are you feeling very confident going into this yeah. uh, BKFC debut? Confident, yeah, as in, like, um, I'm fit and I'm healthy. You know, my hands are good. Uh, no injuries and no touch wood like, you know, but I've had no injuries throughout training with Danny for his camp. So I've more or less done a camp already, do you get what I mean? Yeah. Um I had a week off and then back at it, so I'm as good as I could be, you know, um sparring well and um and being able to eat like you know, through the boxing I was always it's always about weight where it's not now. Yep. So it's it's good to be able to not be hungry but train and enjoy it, you know what I mean? Feel yeah. strong as a bull. Definitely, mate. And are you really excited for it, obviously? Yeah. Doing the bare knuckle instead of boxing. Yeah, definitely. Because, like, it's it's one of them, like, see the boxing. Um, Like, anybody who I've ever boxed in, like, in, 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 ever. Yeah. Um, who's beat me in the ring? I've, I could beat them outside. Yeah. That's how I feel. That's my game. Anyone who's ever beat me in the ring, like, boxing, I'd pack them outside. Not a problem. Yeah. So that's how I'm thinking that this is this is made for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's it's like one of them. It's like I'm I'm a, I could have a street fight now. I could have a street fight a week, fucking on the drink in the pub. I've done it. Yeah. And I've gone for meetups and all over the towns and don't get us wrong, it's not ideal, but I can just get through it with my heart and like you know, we will to win and find a way and working. You know what I mean? Just, you just gotta work with, with what you got. You know what I mean? But I'll always make sure I win. You know what I mean? What weight we, are you going to be fighting at on yeah. uh, the fourth of March? Well, when I, when I first got in touch with Andy, yeah, um, he said what weight, and I tell him what weight I was. Uh, but I was out of shape, you know. I said eleven and a half stone, and he he sort of put an opponent to me and said, "Oh, would you?" But uh, ideally, I, like I say, I could I could make I can make like I say I can make eleven stone easy. It's quite but heavy figure that, isn't it? It's heavy for me, stone. but. The point was, I wasn't going to say no to what he offered. I just took the fight, and obviously, it's been able to like I've just I've been able to work on a bit of strength, lose fat, so I've put muscle on in areas, and you know, and I feel good at it. But I, I think eleven stone would be maybe more suited to me. Do you know what I mean? But I think today he's on about match, matching us up for the end of June, and I've, I've said eleven stone better for me for that. But um, I've got no, I've got no, I've got no problems with the weight. See, the point is, it's bare knuckle. I've never fought, I've never really went and had bare knuckle fights with no, nobody my way. They've been fucking 16, 17 stone and, yeah. and not a problem. Do you know, it's like, it, it just, it, it just, you just got to work with what you've got in front of you and the, the, what you want to do is win. Do you know what I mean? And, and that's, what I'm, that's what I'm good at. Yeah, class. And is it something that you're going to be chasing now, this um, career in the BKFC and bare knuckle and hopefully yeah. chase the belt down? Yeah, definitely, 100%. Um, and like I said, it doesn't go to say I won't fight this way again, you know, if they, fight, if they offer me a good fight and there's good money, um, I'll, I would take it at the higher weight, but I can make, I could be up and down, you know, and, and like I said, it's, the point is, it just it doesn't really, as long as I'm fit and strong, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter because I know I can, I've I fought bit, fight, fighting men, boxing men who have been a lot heavier than me, you know, and I've and I beat them. Yeah. So, you know, so but because we know gloves on, it's different. It's not like, it's not like, you know, like like, like with, with the glove with glove boxing, it's completely different. It is completely different. You know, like I, I fancy myself against anybody. It's like I said, just anybody can knock on your door one day or fucking phone you up. You know, and you, you've just got to just have it there and then. You know, and 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 that's it. You know, man, you've got to fucking get up and do it. If that's the way you type of man you are, 
and that's the way you would, you know, you've just got, you, you, that's the way you've got to, you know, that's the way you've got to deal with things, and that's the way I, I always have done. So, but be, to be able to do it fit, you know, I, I'm, I'm excited, you know, because yeah. I, I fancy myself against anybody not as fit as what I am now. So, yeah, I, I've, I, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to showing, like, you know, these Americans coming over, like, what I'm all about, you know. To be honest with you, fucking, these interviews and that, what, what, I, what I've been, Dreading that. I was putting off for a bit, wasn't I? When you were getting in touch, <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, fucking hell, just wait till after the fight. I wanted to just go out and do what I do and maybe speak after, but like uh, Andy got in touch and said, you know, to do, do a video on that. So here it is. But like I said, I just the main thing for me is the fighting, you know? Yeah, definitely. And a lot of the boxers um, say who come over that take. You, you obviously have to have the heart to be yeah. not be afraid to take a shot, but yeah. you can take a lot more shots bare knuckle than you can with gloves because they're a lot more um, yeah. brain rattling. Yeah, well, it's just, just the point is just wasting shots, I think. Um, you kind of go just leading head on head and training like you can because also if you catch their elbows or you catch the backs of their head, you're breaking your hands, so maybe yeah. it's just chuck, firing when you know you're going to land, but, you know, and not wasting shots. In all fairness, I kind of see it being as. Even though the two minute rounds, I can't see them being as busy as like what an amateur fight is, you know, they're just non-stop. Yeah. It's got more timing and making sure you, in, in all fairness, it can be slower. As slow as what it is three minute rounds in the pros, in all fairness. It just depends on if someone comes flying at you, you're having it, aren't you? But that's how I'm seeing it anyways. Sweet, mate. And what can we expect to see from Gary Fox on BKFC 37? Oh, a, a good, a, like a, a proper fighting man. A rough fucking cunt. That's where I've always been, you know, um, and just gotta just just gotta do what I do best, really. Um, I'm I'm just enjoying. I'm I'm I've never like this is my best feeling, you know. For the since not boxing, um, for the last five years, I haven't been in a good place. Me, it's been not like drink, not abusing my body, just not fucking looking after myself. But all, all my life, I've always had a, a day for a fight, or you know, and, and that's the way I've always worked, you know. And when, there's not. I'm, I'm, I'm never happier than when I'm in a training camp, and um, and that's how I've treated this this fight. See, it's like I'm treating it like as if I was when in the pros. You know what I mean? And and, and, I'm, and I'm I'm loving it again. I'm loving life again. And uh, I'm happy. I can't wait. Sponsors or anyone yeah. you want to give a big up to, mate? Just getting them up now. Um, uh, we, we made uh, Phil Brombury Bush uh, from Northern HV. He's sponsor, good sponsor. Thank you for that. Um, well, thank you for them all anyway. Uh, Dixon Electrical Services, he's on board, thank you to him. Home Pro Driveways, my friend Tony Mack from Stockton, he's yeah, helped me out. CM Motor Training, that's my pal who's doing my corner on that, and his cousin Adrian from James Roofing. Um, the Merlin Pub in Billingham, um, he's helped me out as well with a sponsor. And Skins and Needles in Middlesbrough, uh, I, I use them for the barbers, Laura, um, Skins Barbers. So they're all my sponsors and thank you. Sweet mate and I uh, really appreciate your time today mate and best of luck. Yes mate.